Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Toast. <laughs> <laughs> I love the the half-life characters, the preachers. Alright, Chow's eating cake, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> and there you go. Don't you feel better having watched that? I know I do. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Dark Souls, resume. So, we just freed Logan. So we need to go to where Logan is to have him teach us some cool sorceries. Um, we're not actually going to use the sorceries, but in order to get him to move from his current location to uh, to get 
to give us his hat, uh, we need to buy all of his sorceries. So the problem with that is that costs a lot of souls, so I'm probably not going to buy him now. I might buy him later. Maybe after I do the DLC content or something. I'm not sure. But anyway... Do some uh, killing of this bitch. <sighs> Whatever. I don't even care. I don't even care if you teleport. No caro. I don't. I have no caro syrup. Anyway, this is uh, the run I do to get back to uh, the bonfire down here. You can kill all these enemies. I just think it's generally not worth the time. Uh because they take forever, and you're also getting shot at by these fucking channelers, and that's just no fun. That's just no fun at all. No fun. At. All. Alright, anyway. Go ahead and rest. I should probably kindle that. Uh, I'll come back to kindle that later. And here's Logan. What's up, Logan? Hello This place is truly magnificent, more than expected. And I promise I shall share the new sorceries with you. And the secret seeks in talent. Alright, so he sells the best sorceries in the game. Um in particular my favorite sorcery, Crystal Magic Weapon. Uh although Crystal Sword Spe Soul Spear is pretty good too. Uh, and homing, homing crystal sore mass is really good. Any basically, any uh, sorcery with crystal in it, you can't really go wrong with. But we don't really have the souls to spare, so I'm just going to talk to him. Alright. Thank you, Logan. So, Logan has told us how to defeat Seath um, before he was invincible. Um, and that is an effect of the Primordial Crystal. So, we have to go in the Crystal Forest um, and get rid of the Primordial Crystal in order to kill him and take his soul and put it in the Lord Vessel and do all the fun stuff that we need to do. So, go ahead and reverse Halloween here and kindle this bonfire. No humanity, but that's alright. I might pop some before Seath. Maybe. We'll see. Alright. So, we will head on down to the Crystal Forest, which is actually directly below the Duke's archives here. He's got a he's got a very idyllic view. It's a very uh I don't know. It's a very nice estate that Gwyn set him up with here. Not quite as good as Anne Orlando, but you know. Pretty damn good regardless. And there should be a chest around here with some prism stones in it. Prism stones are useful for the crystal caves and you'll see that in a while. Indeed. Twenty prism stones. Alright. Get a crystal straight sword, pretty much useless. Hopefully there's a golden golem out here with uh, an NPC inside of it. Indeed there is. Okay, thank god. One time I did this and the golem wasn't there, and I don't know why. And it, coming back to the Duke's archives really sucks. So I prefer to do it all at once. Um, or at least as much of it as can be done at once. And, uh, oh, oh, you're not dead. Okay. These guys take uh, more damage than I expected. Blue tight net chunk. All right. All 
The good news is their attacks are really easy to dodge. So there's a golden golem over here, and just like the golem that Dusk was in, um, actually, let's use heal. Uh, just like the golem that Dusk was in, this houses a character that we need to set free. Well, we don't need to, but we're going to set free. Come on. Jeez, could you get any slower? Thank you. These guys, uh, they have more health than their blue counterparts, so you kind of have to be careful. Um, other than that, they're pretty much the same animal. Uh, either they have more health or they have more defense, I'm not sure. Alright, good night, Falcron. Thanks for tuning in. Back up. Don't want to get hit in those crystals. a very strange attack. Like, I, I, I don't know. That wouldn't have hit me even if I was in front of him, is, is what I was trying to say here. Alright. Okay. And this is a character. Hey, it's Brunion, right? No, it is not Onion Bro. It is Onion Daughter. I am Googling the Pacarina. I don't know how I ended up in that question. It wasn't terrible, Linda, but I could hardly move. I must think of some way to repay me. Oh, have you seen my father? You wouldn't miss him. A suit of armor just like mine. I have seen him. Thank oh, goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Alright, so <laughs> we have set free Sigmire's daughter, um, and she's looking for him, because as, as we stated before, he's kind of a hapless warrior, you know, he has good intentions, but oftentimes he gets in over his head. Um... Or should I say he gets hit in over his onion? <laughs> but, uh... So, she's looking for him to make sure that, you know, he's alright. And, um... You can indeed reunite him with her, and that's what I'm going to try to do. It's tricky, though. Um... I won't lie to you and say that it's a 100% chance that I will do it. Um... I've never done it before. Uh, but I... Theoretically, know how to do it. Anyway, if we descend into here, we go to the Crystal Caves. Now, this area is not nearly as annoying as the Crystal Caves in Donkey Kong 64, but it's pretty annoying nonetheless. But the Crystal Caves in Donkey Kong 64 are like the worst level ever. Okay, you need to get up here so we can fight. Okay. The, the danger here is getting knocked off the edge by these guys, because their attacks do pack a punch, and you will suffer knockback from them, so just be wary. Like that, right there. I was I knew I was close enough to him so that I wouldn't get knocked off the edge. It's, uh... But you definitely have to be careful with that. Anyway, we will, uh... walk along these crystals here. Summon sign? I... I don't need you. Why would you put your summon sign here, of all places? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway... <clears throat> what are you doing? You're gonna fall down! Oh, no. No. So, this is the gimmick of the Crystal Caves, are these invisible platforms. And they can be pretty annoying. Oh, I forgot to attune Seek Guidance. Oh, well. Whatever. It should be alright. Um... Even with no messages, I've done this before, and it sucked, but, uh, it's possible. The platforms are relatively straight, and, um, the, okay, when you, when you come to the Crystal Caves in your playthrough, please leave messages on these, on these platforms. It's, it's just, 
like it's just common courtesy.